before we go to the next step, if you've got a dishwasher and it, and it requires this fitting here, you want to put the Teflon tape on exactly how I showed you how to do it over there. And then you're not going to go with that type of end. Okay, you're going to go with this, put the Teflon tape on there, get it nice and tight, and then you'll want this directed uh, whichever way your pipe's going to go. You'll have to tighten it up exactly that way. And this is, this is a little bit more tricky because if you got it tight all the way up to there, but yet you want this outlet to be down here, now you're going to have to crank it over some more and some more and some more, hoping that it doesn't mess up your threads and all that kind of stuff. Well, isn't that funny? I'm not even going to use that this time. I'm glad I read those directions and I've got, I've got these parts and I, I'm gonna, I'll probably end up saving that. I'll, I'll save all my little parts and keep it with the dishwasher in case I ever need them for something else. I know I've got a washer there and, and stuff like that, okay? Read your directions and do it right. Isn't that funny? You probably you probably saw the camp chairs out here. We have not we have not set up this room. Mommy just went to Costco and got this huge TV. Look at this thing, Neo QLED, and uh, that's a 75 inch. This puppy was heavy to get to get out of the car. Mommy went down to Costco on her own while I was working with this uh, dishwasher, and they'll help you load that up in, up in the car. Now she's off. They even have some indoor outdoor furniture. I think we're going to end up putting that here because we're close. We're right here at the river and we've got this this nice uh, vinyl planking floor and uh, we've got a cat that scratches up our furniture. Look at this. Look at this thing here. We've got. Look at that. Look at that. Every single corner is like that. Look at this. So do we want to do we want to buy some furniture that she's going to rip up? If we get something indoor, outdoor stuff, if she rips up a little bit of it or whatever, uh, fine. But most of it, uh, the outside is going to be kind of like that swing, you know, that material, you know, outdoor material. And we can have that in here. I'm, I'm not going to mind. And then we'll have some cushions and she probably won't rip that up as much as something like this. Get out of town. It was like, hey, it's your cat. The best way to fix that is to get rid of her. I mean, we got some of that other stuff to spray on there. See that that feely way, classic stuff. We we leave it in a a glass jar because this stuff this stuff leaked all over and already screwed up the uh, nightstand by the by the uh, master in the master bedroom by the bed. And so now we keep it. We keep it like that. Hey, she did. She likes her kitty. So, so we got to we got to set this place up. So, if it's not cat proof, at least we can get rid of stuff. We still got to figure out all this, you know, where to keep that and things. But enough of that. Back to our project. We've got the uh, we've got the electrical hooked up now. I show you how to get that into the electrical junction box with the pigtail. We've got the water line. We've got the water line connected on there nice and snug. We've got, here's the drain line that came attached to the dishwasher. And now, um, it's a good thing I read the directions because see, this has feet on it. And of course, they're all plastic nowadays. Look at this thing. But you unscrew that to whatever height you need. And I was gonna measure I was going to measure this. In fact, let's measure this for a second and I'll tell you what my thoughts were and then what you're supposed to do. I measured underneath here, up to this bottom thing, and I've got at, at least 34 and a half and that should fit. That should fit in there. 34 and a half. And I thought, hey, I'll be smart. I'll measure this thing and I'll measure uh, and adjust the legs now before I slide it in there. And see, this is the top. Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay, I, I got it. It's a little bit, about a quarter inch beyond this edge here. And 34 and a half. 
Well, see, I've, I've already unscrewed it. That's at, that's at 34 right there, and I'm gonna have to unscrew it even more to get it exact. But they say, because these are plastic legs, you don't wanna bend those as you're sliding it in, um, in the opening. So I may, I, may, uh, I may move those out a little bit, but I'm not gonna try to get it perfect because the further out you get this, see how wonky this gets? And it flops all over. And as you're sliding that, if that kind of hits, it might wanna have a tendency to, uh, to get cockeyed in there because this is plastic threads going into plastic threads. You see what I mean? So I don't want that out too far. So it tells you once you get it in there, you can adjust the two front legs. And normally, it, um, old dishwashers used to have four legs. See, there, 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 there would be one at both ends. This one's got one in the middle. And it's like, how are you gonna get underneath there? You know, on old dishwashers, and I don't know if all dishwashers are like this nowadays, but here's where the front toe kick's gonna get screwed on here. And normally you could take the toe kick out and you can shine a flashlight back underneath there to see if there's any leaks or anything like that. Or, or you could reach in there. I, I had to reach in one time and adjust the back legs to a dishwasher, but can't do that with this one. So how on earth would you adjust that? They, they suggest not adjusting this at all and getting up underneath there later with a wrench. That's why they have this notched like that, and, and you take a wrench in there, and you're gonna uns unscrew these, or, or tighten them, whatever. But they say to keep this up. Does that make sense? Keep it up there. See, see how it's not gonna be flopping around if you just keep it tight? And that's how it came, was tight. And then they say, on that back one, there's a screw on the front of this. Sure enough, there's a screw right there, where you undo that screw, and that'll raise and lower this back piece. Isn't that kind of slick? And so uh, the only thing I don't like about that is I was going to get my, my, my Phillips screwdriver in there. Uh, let's, let's see if I can't get some light down there with my phone. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm trying to pull up my, uh, my light. Here we go. Can you see, can you see the threads on there? Look at that. It's a star connection. You can't even adjust it with a regular screwdriver or Phillips. And lucky for me, I pulled this out. And see, here's, here's some little star ones, see, like that. I just happen to have the right one. And sure enough, it does, it does fit in there. And this thing will go in and out, okay? And, and that's gonna raise and lower this. I, I don't know how, how you could possibly tell how much to raise that and how much to lower it, unless I guess you get a level or something, put a level in there or something, because if, when these come out, it's like, how can you do that? Because you can't see through here how high that is. So I have to I have to figure something out and and uh, to get that to get that adjusted exactly where it's supposed to go. Okay, so that's that's pretty much our next step. Is and see I can't even screw that without doing it over here. I can't unscrew it by hand or anything. So I'm going to have to make a determination how far to unscrew things. I might I might unscrew this a little well. I should keep them tight, huh? And this one here, see how floppy it is? Because I've loosened it up a little bit, I'm gonna tighten it up with my screw on the front, like I should, and get that back up there. That way when I slide this in the opening, I can slide it right in and not have to worry about these funky feet. And they tell you, they caution you not to unscrew those feet, okay? so. You know, I've learned all kinds of new things for these newfangled installations. Every, every few years they come up with something different. I've never seen a, a connection like that before that came with the pigtail. 
But again, I've never really installed a dishwasher for many, many years. Okay, so I'm learning as I'm going. And if I can do it, of course, you can too. All right, I'm gonna get this bottom leg adjusted and get my path here all, all out. I've already taken the piece of uh, cardboard out there. I took my vacuum, vacuumed all that stuff out. Got all my stuff cleaned out from there. And uh, see, I even had, I even had paper, that paper stuff here too. And I may have to, I may have to cut that, or maybe I can keep it pushed down for the time being until I get everything hooked up. And then when I get everything done, then I can pull that out, put everything back together, and have it work once I get done. Okay, step by step, we're get, we're doing it. We're doing it. I can't stress to you how important it is to make all of this stuff snug and not over tight, but tight enough to where it's not going to leak. It, it kind of bums me out that um, I won't be able to uh, leave the toe kick off and then shine a flashlight underneath there to double check and make sure my fittings aren't leaking back there or anything like that because uh, you'll, I'll never be able to know until once upon a time if it does leak and it starts running out the front then I'll know that I'll have to pull everything out because they don't make dishwashers like they used to. They used to be able to see all of your connections uh, underneath your dishwasher um, by just removing your toe kick. But see, nowadays you just can't do that. And I don't know, yeah see, this, you can't unscrew that and there's, there's nothing under there. So however they design it, that's just how it works. All right, so be careful when you're making those connections.